Hello everyone, today let's learn how to calculate the mean of group data by the assumed mean method. So in this example, here is the class interval column and this is my frequency column. Now the formula to calculate by the assumed mean method is this. So first let's find out all these values and then use this formula. So the first column is called the xi column. In fact, for any mean method, this is the first column that we need to create. Now what is xi? Yes, it's called the class mark. That is the mid value of every class interval. You can easily find it by adding the lower limit and upper limit and divided by 2. So for example here you will get 40 plus 44 which is 84 divided by 2 which is 42. That's it. So you easily got your first xi value. Now that way you can find out all the xi values but there is an easier method. Once you find the first xi value by this method just add the class size to it friends and you will get automatically the next xi value. So what is the class size? Let's first find that out. Any class interval, just subtract the upper limit and lower limit. Say here if I take this class interval, 56 minus 52, yes, 4. So H is 4 over here. Just add 4 to 42, you'll get 46. See, very easily I got the next XI values. That way you can fill up, you'll get all the XI values this way. I hope this is clear, friends. Now, did you notice that the XI values are quite big? So first let's reduce them by the assumed mean method. So that is our next column that is the A value which is nothing but assumed mean. So how do you find that out? Any xi value friends you can choose it to be your assumed mean. You are just assuming it as the mean of the data. So any xi value but it's better if you take the middle xi value so that you will get very small numbers. So here there are two middle values see 50 and 54. You can choose any of them. I will go for 54. So I am choosing my a as 54. So let me write the a value everywhere over here. So this extra column is for my own convenience so that I don't make any mistakes. If you want, you can omit this column also. Now just see the formula. We have a di. So that brings the next column which is di as xi minus a. So by looking at the formula, you will automatically know what is the next column to make. Now di is nothing but the deviation. You are just going to subtract xi and a. So let's do that. 42 minus 54, that will be minus 12. Remember to put the minus sign. 46 minus 54 minus 8. So this way I can easily find out all the values. Just do it carefully. Now these are all the di values. Again come back to the formula. It's written here fi into di. That means now I need to multiply fi with the di. So that is our next column. See fi di. Just to make sure that you don't mix up the column friends. It's better that you uh, just point your fingers to the correct column and then do the multiplication. So 8 into minus 12 minus 96. Remember the minus sign everywhere. So it's minus 24 here it's minus 44 0 36 and yes 32 fine now again let's come to the formula it says sigma now what is sigma yes it's the greek symbol for summation which means i need to add up all these values now i've already added them friends it comes to minus 96 remember it's minus and it's perfectly fine if you get negative values here. No need to worry at all. Now again the formula says sigma fi. That means I need to add all the frequencies. Now I've already done that. It comes to 40. So now we have all the values ready. So let's go ahead and substitute them in the formula. A is nothing but yes 54 plus sigma fi di is minus 96. So I'll just put it in a bracket. Sigma fi is 40. And uh, let me just uh, resolve this plus minus sign over here. Fine. Friends, did you notice this goes in the fourth table? So let me do try it out. It will go, yes, 424s are, 410s are. 24 by 10, I can surely write it as 2.4, right? Okay, so my mean is this. Now 54 minus 2.4 is, yes, 51.6. So friends, this is how you can easily find the mean. So friends, I hope you found this video useful. If so, do like it. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.